M0FXB, let's load some bespoke firmware on our SI4732 mini receiver. On the left hand side, we're on the Facebook page here. If we scroll down and you can see that Abdullah has posted a new file, ATS mini version 1.08. So let's load it and then you'll get an idea how to do it. Now I've already done it, so I'm going to go over it again with you. So the first thing you do is download the tool, which is this, this tool here move me out the way a bit there just click flash download tool and then run it and when it opens you'll get a small window so let's just completely start again now I have created a folder here where I'm putting in the files that I want call I just call it 44 so right click and then just go new folder and call it what you like so you can find the files when you load then click flash download tool here just click it let it download into your downloads folder Go to your downloads folder, click flash download, and then double click here. And there it is there, flash downloader. Let that run, you get the red warning, more info, run anyway. You get this black window, you have to leave that on, don't um, close that. But then the white one, which we can move over here, we can make that larger. Not that it needs to be, but we will. Uh, then at the top, it says chip type. So we're going to change that to ESP32S3. ESP32S3. We leave work mode as develop. And because we're using a USB cable, we go down, we select USB, and then we click OK. And of course, the cable is connected to my PC. This is the important window that we've got. OK for loading everything. Now the USB cable just plugs in the top of your device and plugs in your PC. You do not have to put it into firmware mode. Now we're going to start loading the four files one at a time. So the first one at the top, click the three dots just here. Go to where you saved those files. So remember mine are in the folder called 44, so desktop 44. And the one at the top is the bootloader one. So go look for the one that says bootloader, double click and then tick it here. And then in this red box, put zero, not naught times zero. OK, then next three dots. You want to put the one that's called, let's get it right. I don't want to get it wrong. Partition, double click. And then in this one, we're going to go here we're going to go zero times one, two, three, four noughts. Tick the box. Then down to the next one. Click the three dots. We're going to go to the INO bin, not the merged. And then get the right amount of noughts in. So we go zero times then one, two, three, four, five noughts. And the next one is the merged bin. And I've got a feeling we did the noughts wrong on that one. So you're ticking. Oh, that's better. Ticking. The last one is just one, zero times zero. We always use zeros, okay? We never use never use the O. And then remember we go right click device manager. You need to make sure you've got the right COM port. I know we've already checked, but we'll just check it again up to comms and it should be there 34 115 200 board rate as well and to check that you right click properties poor advance and it was there actually so it's the right one so that's fine no problem with that close that so then select your com port here 34 make sure you've got all the ticks done make sure double check you've got all these in the right order and then just go start and then that should just go in. It goes quiet, you get the green band. And then what I'll do now that's gone in, we're just gonna just make sure it's complete. It's complete to me. Can't see anything happening now. Doesn't actually say complete, does it? But anyway, soon find out. So we'll unplug the cable. And um, turn it off. You get the error on the screen, but turn it on. And there it is. And the, the big telltale sign is if you 
double click, no, one click because of the new mod. Go to settings and then theme. And you, look, you can start changing screen. And one of the biggest changes I would say is um, the fact that you only have to press once to do anything. Press it once, mode, band, let's go band. Let's go to, let's go to CV, why not? And you can change your frequency, you press again. And that's it. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Obviously, I'm learning. I'm sort of doing this in front of you, but I'm learning myself. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.